Hello, Natalie. This is Dave from ChiefTutor.com. Sorry it took me so long to get back to you. I've had a crazy couple of weeks, so um, I completely forgot about your plan. <laughs> That's very nice of you, Dave. All right. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. People get busy. That's what they do. All right. I'm going on and on about nothing. Who knows what I'm talking about. You had a question. Uh, you wanted to build this hood in X5. Now, yeah, I can build it as a symbol and send it to you. But I thought, you know, it's pretty easy. Uh, what I see here, we can build all these parts, actually, pretty quickly in Chief Architect X5. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. And um, let's get started. So I got a blank plan here. I just threw in a wall. And uh, let's throw in some cabinets, shall we? I'm going to throw one here, one here. And maybe um, a wall cabinet here, and a wall cabinet there. Now I'm going to go to my elevation tool, and I'm just going to drag my elevation across this wall. And I'm going to back up a bit using my roller, and then I'm going to say File, Import, and I'm going to import the picture so I can kind of remember what I'm doing while I'm doing it. Uh, let's grab the picture here, and I'm going to hold down Control, grab the center handle, and drag it around bring it down to a reasonable size and zoom back in okay so this is the hood we're gonna make we can make this all out of the parts and pieces of chief uh, first I'm going to select these two wall cabinets and open them up and I'm gonna make them I don't know 36 inches wide and then these two as well I'm gonna make these two base cabinets open them up make them <laughs> Same thing, 36 inches wide. Now I have to take a guess on what this is. Bank of drawers, you know, whatever. I'm just going to put a cabinet, uh, maybe say 36 inches wide, because this is the cooktop. And leaving that as the center point, let's go ahead and plug these in. Now I can use a wall cabinet for this area right here if I wanted to, um, but I'm going to use uh, a shelf. I know because that sounds weird, but see how there's a shelf at the bottom of this thing and then there's this uh, box here that holds the hood? Well, we can make this out of so many different parts, but since I just want to use the same tool over and over and easy for me, I'm going to use a shelf here and a shelf here and molding because you can assign molding to a shelf, which is nice. So correcting the center about there, I'm going to say 36. Uh, this is probably like 18 to 21 inches deep for that shelf. Uh, the height of this, is, I'm going to say, is about 2 inches. i go over to the Materials tab and go to my uh, bone color and just assign it bone so it's all kind of the same. And then I'm going to put these next to it because that's kind of what it does. Okay, so then I'm going to take this shelf and I'm going to just copy and paste in place the exact same thing. OK. So now I have two of these shelves. I'm going to move this one up. Uh, and I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'll notice i got grab handles. I'm going to try to grab the top to there, the bottom to there. Again, I'm going to try to line it up. If I can't line it up, I can always do point to point. Let's say to this computer, this point to this point. Eh, that still didn't work all that well, did it? So now let's do some mathematics. Let's do 66. OK. If I can move it up there. Works good. Okay. So what I did is basically I forced it into the right height to line up with the rest of these, being that they're 54 inches from the bottom of the wall cabinet to the floor, and then knowing that they're 36 inch or yeah, 36 inches high. The ones the ones I've set to. Okay. Now these are both 21 deep, so I'm going to make this one a little less. Make this one about 18 inches deep. Okay. And then uh, all I have to do really is to spray can it. <clears throat> And let's look for beadboard. And you can really get any color of beadboard you want. Um, but I'm going to go down here and look for uh, white. That's good. I'll start with white and just apply it to it. Now I notice it's going the wrong direction. So let's check it in the high color. It's still going the wrong direction even in the high color. I'll go back to the low color. I'm going to use my rainbow tool and correct the direction to where I want it to go. Change the angle under the texture tab. I'm going to say 90 degrees. Go over here to the pattern and remove the 90 degrees for this pattern. Go to zero and click OK. 
And now it's going in the right direction, and I can even check it on the high color, make sure it's going in the right direction. I can also adjust the beadboard if I need to adjust it around. But you know what else I might want to do is making it look the same color as just the rest of these bones. I will pick up the bone with the eyedropper and apply it to the texture. Now since I'm applying a color, not a texture, a color to my existing beadboard texture, it'll change my texture white to texture bone. So it's a neat little trick with Chief. Okay, so then it looks like I've got a valance in there. So I'm going to take this shelf throw it right up against here and I got to build my valance and I'm going to use a polyline solid tool so zooming in I'm going to start here in the corner and just drag down to about uh, maybe there take this piece move it over a bit there we go and then I'm going to create some cut marks so I'm going to use this tool right here this break line or the number three in the hotkey and I'm going to break it about here and hit three on my keyboard and break it about here and then I'm going to tap this edge so I've got the big edge with the big grab handle and that's the edge I'm going to arch I'm holding down control I'm going to grab that arch that little triangle to adjust my arch to go up and then I'm going to open this bad boy up and I'm going to assign him the same color and also I'm going to go to the generals tab and make it approximately two inches thick yeah and I can readjust at this point if I need to but yeah, that's fine. Now that's set all the way back against the drywall most likely. It doesn't come out far as this, so I'm going to have to readjust it. <clears throat> so that's what I can do back in the two-dimensional plan. So I'm going to close this view and say, yes, I want to save this view because I might come back to it. And then come back here and select it, and there it is. That's the valance over there. So if I take my cursor and try to select that and I can't get it, I can always go to the next tab, next tab, next tab, and there it grabs it. And then again, I can do my point-to-point, -point, or I can just manually draw it out and that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to bring it out to about there. I can also check it in the 3D camera instead of the elevation. I can stand back here in like the 3D and kind of just size it up and see hey is this about right? Yeah that is about right. Okay so let's go back to this view and see what else we need to do is get these two corbels. Okay that shouldn't be too hard. Let's just search for corbel. There's some nice ones, nice ones, nice ones. There's a fancy one. Oh, very fancy. And I'll plop one here, and I'll plop one here. Hit the space bar and come in here. It looks like they're set back, which they were. So I'm going to grab these two, open them up, go to my materials tab, click plan, and you guessed it, change it to bone. Keep it all the bone. Keep it all the bone. Move back here in the 2D view because this is where I can move it out from. I'll hold down shift and select them both so I can move them both at the same time and put them in front of my valance. So now they're at the right location. I can go back to the elevation mode and readjust them up. So select this one, hold down shift, select that one, and just drag them up to where I think they need to be. Okay. There we go. It's looking pretty sexy, eh? All right, so now I'm going to select... Um, can I select all three of these? Uh, hold down Shift. Uh, select the first one. Hold down Shift. Hit this one and this one. And I can't open it up because this is a three different items. Or, excuse me, two different items. So I'm going to hold down just the two wall cabinets. Nah, forget that. I'm going to do this one first. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I'm going to do first. So I double-clicked and opened up those wall specifications for the shelf. And I'm going to go to the Moldings tab, and I'm going to say Add New. And I'm going to X5's Moldings, uh, Crown Moldings. And let's pick something like this. It's got a lot of shape to it. Click OK. And I'm going to raise up the height. I'm going to make it like 6 high. And 6 width. And so I'm going to have to say negative 6 inches here vertical offset so the bottom of it lines up this part lines up with the top of the cabinet there because it's six inches high so I have to set it six inches from the top and then click OK and there we go and I'm going to do the same for these two so I'm going to hold down shift grab both those wall cabinets go to my molding tab click add new bada boom bada bing bada boom bada bing and there we go and there we go and again adjust it to six and six and negative six and one more thing, maybe the material tab, you guessed it, I'm going to change it to the right color. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay, 
let's go into the 3D camera and take a look. Because now we're getting really close. <laughs> really close, man. Let me tell you. <laughs> okay, so here we go. There is our hood piece. And again, this does look like it needs to be tweaked a little bit more into the hue of the bone color. But for now, I'm not going to worry too much about it because, you know, theoretically, I think we got the look that you were after. And that crown molding that I chose, you notice how it does have a flat area there so we can assign um, a design to it. A uh, design right on it, actually. So uh, let's do that. Let's go to this box, go to the moldings tab, and I'm going to add a new molding. I'm going to type in here rope. And let's grab this bad boy. Actually, let's try to grab this one. There we go. I'm going to say one inch high. Vertical offset maybe four inches or something. Oh, I went in the wrong direction, so I want to say negative four. So it sends it up. Now I need to send it out. So I'm going to send it out about two inches. That didn't pop out. How about three inches? And I'm starting to see it pop through. Negative 3.5. Looks like it needed to go down a bit. So what I'm doing is basically trying to adjust that rope molding to come out where I want it to come out. Okay, let's go back to that rope mold and keep trying here. Negative three. Mm, pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Okay, negative 2.5. Something, 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 something. And maybe two. Mm -hmm. There we go. So that is my setting. So now I can use that same rope molding this guy if I remember the settings one half two and a half and two one half two and a half and two yeah do I remember that I don't think I do R-O-P-E and one half negative two and a half and two and boom Oh, and the color. Oh, it got me. Oh, got me on the color. <clears throat> you like the sounds I make. I thought though. I thought you'd like that. And so there is kind of a cool little detail molding. And then you know you can keep going. I mean, these wall cabinets can. Um, they have this cool option where you can go insert because I think they were inserted wall cabinet doors. Those usually the custom doors like that. They get that insert look. Yeah, see how they're inserted into the frame? That's a true custom cabinet where the doors fit inside flush to the frame. <clears throat> so yeah, there we go. Bada boom, bada bang, nice. Assign the door this groovy molding, and I'm right there, baby. Yeah, but I think I've taken up enough of your time. What's it been, like 12 minutes? 13 minutes? Oh my gosh. So I hope that helps. I hope that answers your question on how we can do it. Uh, again, you can save now this entire thing. Just delete these two cabinets and uh, control select this. This, In fact, you just... Let's do that real quick. Let me see if I can do it. I'm going to delete this and delete this and delete that, delete that. Delete all the things I don't need and just drag select the whole thing. And there I can combine it in an architectural block. And I can add it to my library. And it should add untitled. I want to rename it um, J Hood. Yeah, baby. And then I can right click on that and choose Export Library. And I can export as J Hood. Save. It's exporting to my desktop. So now it's a symbol. You can um, you can grab the symbol, drag and drop it right into the program. There it is. That's the symbol we just made of your of your hood which is this picture right here. Hope you enjoyed watching the fantastic show here at Dave. Uh, no, this is ChiefTutor.com by your host, Dave and Michael Designs. All right, baby. Yeah, baby. That's a really bad, really, really bad interpretation of uh, Austin Powers. Did you, did you like that? Yeah, I, I didn't either. I do like this kitchen. It's very nice. You're trying to model it. It's great. Uh, it takes a little while in chief, but you can do it. You can do everything. You can do these columns and this valance thing here. And you might have a hard time with that teapot. Yeah, or this. You know, Who's going to use that? Why am I going on? Really? I don't know. 
Thank you so much. Sorry, again, it took so long for the time <laughs> to get my message out there and upload this video. Um, um, I will send you... Um, yeah, okay, bye.